Hey guys, it's Gomo from Old World Fanatics. Um, I was watching a video from Andy from Mediocre Hobbies uh, on the weekend actually uh, about the difference between Finecast and the new Forge World resin. Um, and I've never had any Forge World resin. Um, but this just came in the mail today because I bought it obviously and I didn't realize it was even coming because last shipment update last week said it was damaged, whatever that means. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to come, but anyway, here it is. So I thought rather than just smash it open, I might actually uh, review it in terms of sort of unboxing. It's a little bit of resin up there, I don't know what that is. Uh, and just thought, you know, we'll have a look at it from the point of view of comparing it to the old fine car stuff, which I still have, and I've had pretty good success with them. Uh, not as bad as some of what people have had. But I don't have a lot. I've got like a, a wyvern, both my screaming skull catapults and my bow sharpies are all forge well. Oh, uh, sorry, behind cast. Um, but that's about it. So I haven't really had, eh, there's probably a few little odd orc characters and stuff. Um, but let's just have a look what we got here. So they do come on lots of different assembly and stuff. That's interesting. GW3, but yeah, I mean, looking at the, I'll just bring it right up to the uh, camera here. Oops, put it the right way, maybe. And it looks a lot cleaner than some of the Forge World There's a little bit of junk up there, but even the text there, you can see, that's quite small, actually. I mean, you look at my fingers compared to that. Um, there's even some of that dint the uh, sort of the wear in the sim on in the uh, actual I don't know what you call these things but uh, that's pretty cool and this guy yeah I mean it looks very clean you still got a little bit of that this sort of flashing that you gotta you, you gotta get off um, but I mean it's not it's nothing that's taking away from the detail of the miniature that's for sure. So I guess the question is, how does it go together? No instructions, which is interesting. So what do they say? It's for advanced users only. <clears throat> it's a little bit of warping on that. Yeah, maybe a bit of warp. Uh, but yeah, no, overall, looks very good. Pretty hard. God, look at all that. Three different, oh no, three, yeah. So you're going to have to just try to work it out. I probably should wash it and all that stuff first, I guess. But uh, look at that. Let's just see um, what we can clip off here. It's always interesting when you're trying to work out what to clip. I guess it's that. It's still, yeah, it snaps sort of like what you used to forge what like resin doing. Break that bit off. <laughs> this looks like a pretty thick piece. Um, yeah, so I might clean this and then um, I'll just speed it up. most of the stuff off but I just wanted to um, have a play with how well it clips together type thing because obviously it's got all the little uh, guides and yeah like plastic I mean it just fits like that guy just you can't put it on you can't get that wrong which is pretty cool so it's good that they've um, 
obviously the you know the quality of it we shouldn't be using that really cheap super glue but anyway it just grabs and fits perfectly in perfectly flush Let's see if we can see that it's pretty cool So I'll try to glue the rest of them together. Actually, I did notice, sorry, before that, um, even this one, which was it's like a, a weird piece. Initially, I thought it didn't go right in, and then when I worked out that it's got a, yeah, sit, flush, it goes right on. Yeah, it's not moving. It's pretty good. So then I'll glue the rest of it, and um, we'll have a look at the end. just glued him together so he's still pretty uh wet um and i just put one little dot of super glue on his back foot just holding him onto the base but um yeah pretty impressed with um yes yeah, so his banner's still moving a bit there um how easy he went together really um considering how heavy the other uh, bsb herald guy is the metal the old metal one um he is a bit hunched over but that might this guy might actually make him easier to fit in with some of the smaller tomb guard and stuff. But anyway, yeah, definitely. Um, if you haven't bought any of the new fine car stuff, I wouldn't be stressed. Uh, like Andy says over at Mediocre Hobbies, the um the quality's top notch. So anyway, I'll get him painted up, and um, she might do a, a painting tutorial on him uh, in a future episode.